The United Nations Development Program released the Human Development Report for Latin America at the UN headquarters in New York today. The report describes how insecurity and crime are preventing achievements in human development, despite the region's progress in other areas. The UNDP Bureau for Latin America and the Caribbean, uh, led by uh, Geraldo Munoz, decided to focus this 2013 Regional Human Development Report on citizen security. Because without citizen security, countries' efforts to achieve their development objectives can be, and often are, curtailed or frustrated. A major finding of the report is the number of homicides in Latin America. Over one million people have been murdered in the past decade, making it one of the most dangerous regions in the world, a reality that is strangling progress for the continent's people. The WHO has recently referred to the high and in some countries growing homicide rates as reaching epidemic levels. For the past decade, there has been one million homicides in Latin America. That's an ununderstandable rate. It is, it's just outstanding. One million homicides in the region during one decade. Latin America has been a bright spot for the UN's Millennium Development Goals. All countries stand to meet the majority of goals by 2015. Poverty has been reduced. Inequality, though once extreme, is decreasing as well. Education, health and women's inclusion are improving greatly. Yet the region's crime levels are holding back continued successes. While Latin America has experienced uh, a decade of uh, economic growth and reduction of uh, poverty, uh, nevertheless, uh, Insecurity has grown in the region, and the indicators of homicides and robberies so indicate. The report dispels many previously held myths about crime. Experts point to certain findings that potentially change the way national leaders approach this issue. What about drugs and alcohol? Uh, uh, drugs uh, and, and alcohol, uh, this is very important because we discovered that alcohol is the main culprit uh, behind the perpetration a lot of the of the, a lot of the crimes. I mean, drugs such as cocaine, uh, heroin, marijuana do not have a larger role uh, in the commission of crimes. Alcohol, though, has a big role. I mean, more than 50 percent of inmates reported that they consume alcohol before committing a crime. The report also brings into focus the priorities for Latin American countries as the UN builds a successor to the MDGs after 2015. The rule of law is one of the elements that we identified as the, as the weaknesses, as the challenges, but also as the key opportunities that our countries have in order to face citizen security. And by rule of law, we mean exactly not only, uh, or rather going beyond zero tolerance measures and hard fist policies and implementing reforms in our institutions, in the police, in the courts, in the prison systems. The report suggests that citizen insecurity can be tackled effectively through crime prevention strategies which communities and populations affected help to design and to implement. That means that people become a part of the solution to the problem in their community. Ownership of prevention programs leads to greater trust, in particular between citizens, community leaders and the security and justice agencies. Today's conference was packed with senior United Nations officials, civil society leaders and world ambassadors, demonstrating just how important this issue is to the international community. Latin America is a shining example of how development policies have lifted millions out of poverty. Tackling crime is the next big challenge on the road to creating prosperity for all. This is Brendan Pastor at the United Nations for South South News.